Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Alicia. Um, today I'm going to be covering a Jane Doe case from Tempe, Arizona. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in and I'll see you back next week for another case. April 27th, 2002. A teenage girl is kicked out of her home for abusing drugs. Her family would never see her again. Tempe Jane Doe was found dumped in a strip mall behind a golf store on University just east of McClintock in Tempe, Arizona. She was believed to be between the ages of 15 and 19 years old and has failed to regain her identity for more than a decade. According to my sources, Jane Doe was likely picked up while hitchhiking on April 26, 2002, near 32nd Street and Greenway. We know a man picked Jane Doe up that day, and he stated she initially asked him to take her to a store, then changed her mind, asking then to be taken to an unknown location where a male drug dealer joined the ride. The driver stated the girl then used the money she had with her to purchase cocaine from the man. Shortly after doing the drug, she began convulsing and was then dumped or thrown from the vehicle. Police were able to locate the driver quickly during their investigation. CDs found near the girl's body would be traced through fingerprints to a Phoenix woman. She denied knowing Jane Doe, but stated she owned the CDs. They were in a car she recently loaned to her boyfriend, the driver. Based on the details given by the driver, he was never charged in her case and her case was never declared a homicide or an accident, but somebody must be missing this girl. She had told the driver in Spanish that she was kicked out of her home for drug abuse and had nowhere to stay. She also wanted to spend her money that day on a concert ticket, according to the driver, but quickly changed her mind and spent it on cocaine, leading to her death. Tempe Jane Doe was five foot to five foot one inches tall, weighing around 120 to 125 pounds. Authorities guessed she was between 15 and 19 years old. She had long, straight, dark brown hair and brown eyes. She was found wearing a red halter top, jeans with a side zipper, long black shoes, size 6.5 with 3 inch heels. She had a purple hair tie on her right wrist, purple nail polish, a left hand scar, and a top right shoulder scar. If you have any information on Jane Doe, you are urged to contact the Tempe Police Department at the number listed on your screen now. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up our case. Um, if Jane Doe was alive today, she would be between the ages of 31 to 35 years old, approximately. Um, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that her family is still out there looking for her? I think it's very probable that someone is out there in Arizona looking for her. Um, but with that being said, I will see you back next week for another video. Stay safe everyone, and I hope that you like and subscribe for more creepy content. Bye guys!